Oh, excuse me, what year is it? It's 2284. Oh my God, oh, the pandemic. Almost over. <laughs> Jesus, can I, can I get a drink of, of water, please? Um, negative. The last drop was drunk in the year 2040. Tell us what was water like. Oh my God, uh, it was amazing. We had a lot of it, probably didn't look after it as, as well as we, we could have. We, uh, we had water fights, you just chuck it all over each other. <laughs> We used to drink it all the time. We'd turn the tap on and we'd just wait for it to be the perfect temperature. <laughs> and, and then we'd take a, a clean glass and for some reason we'd, we'd rinse it out again with... <laughs> but you had no idea you were destroying the planet. No, we knew. <laughs> then what did your leaders do to stop Earth from dying? They put a 10p charge on plastic bags. <laughs> Then why did you travel in aeroplanes when you knew the pollution was irreversibly heating up the planet? Oh my god, this is gonna sound bad. To go somewhere hotter. I really like that he brought up what our leaders are doing, but this also reminds me of what really rich people are doing. Never tell me to use a paper straw again. Kylie Jenner takes a three minute flight from one end of LA to another end of LA on a weekly basis. Like I've been tracking this stuff recently and she's taken this trip like four times this week. This was not supposed to be a video bashing the Kardashians, but a lot of people were talking about the celebrities that use too much of their water. There's a drought in California and there's a lot of wildfires and Kourtney Kardashian's mansion exceeded its budget by about 100,000 gallons of water. We can't just think of our political leaders we also have to think about these people who are using way more resources than are necessary to sustain their own and their families' lives. Because while the wealthy people in America are burning up jet fuel and using way too much water, this is the consequence of climate change for everyday working people. I want people to see this is someone's home. This is someone's home and we're begging for resources. This is the home. This stuff hardly gets primetime news coverage. While there's flooding in some places, there's major droughts in others, like the Colorado River. And keep in mind, three major cities depend on the Colorado River for water, along with a ton of agriculture. And the Inflation Reduction Act, which many people are calling the big climate bill, is not doing nearly enough. They're boasting that they're going to reduce the deficit by another $300 billion, but what they're failing to outline is the cost of not doing enough for climate change right now. The damage that you saw in St. Louis is very expensive. The potential amount of money we will have to spend by not reducing emissions and building renewable energy infrastructure now is huge. That's why I really like this guy's style of stand-up because he allows us to imagine a future that can be really difficult to picture. And it can be kind of daunting to imagine the people in power not doing anything to prevent this from happening. But let's not forget how we got the historic Inflation Reduction Act and major climate measures passed. We got a draft bill within days of this happening in Senator Schumer's office. Those are congressional staffers which occupied the office and Schumer Schumer had them arrested. People in power are not incentivized to do anything about climate change. We're going to have to do stuff like this to make them.